spill the theory, so to spill some theories. Today's video is about a theory that is probably one of the most popular, but before I even introduce it, I wanted to apologize for the huge break that I took. I have to be frank with y'all, my time has been very restrained and I barely have any time to live at all. But hey, that's how life is sometimes. I managed to find some time to finally talk about my favorite game again, and I'm really excited about today's topic. Anyway, as you probably figured out by the title of the video, who is the flashlight girl? A character who got her fan-made name by the fact that she is seen carrying a flashlight. Before jumping into it, are you ready for yet another theory spell? I sure am. Quick reminder that this video contains spoilers. If you haven't played any of the Little Nightmares games, I suggest you look away. You have been warned. Also, these gameplays aren't mine. All rifle owners have been linked down below. Of course, if you're a fan of Little Nightmares, I suggest you view some more of my other videos. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Flashlight Girl goes by a lot of names, including Runaway Girl since we see her in the Runaway Kids part of the game. She is one of the many children that were bought to the Maw for a lot of unknown reasons. The first time she is seen is at the beginning of the first chapter of the Runaway Kids story. Unlike a lot of other kids we've seen, she's managed to escape both the janitor and the all-seeing eye. She is the one who built the rope, used to help RK, and also Six in her story. But she's also the one who guided the runaway kid to the pipe that brought him to later on meet the granny. Thing is, we never see her again beyond that point. Kind of eerie if you ask me, since I believe she's trying to escape like most of the kids that are made prisoner over there. The girl's character is so fascinating to me for the lone fact that we know nothing. She is so mysterious that any story made up for her would make sense. In the following seconds, I will discuss who this young child could possibly be in the world of Little Nightmares. Let's talk about two possible theories about the flashlight girl. The first theory is a topic I wanted to talk about and I probably will make it into its own video one day, but we'll briefly talk about it right now. I already put this video topic in the few video ideas I have in my community tab under the name The Five Mysterious Children. Long story short, I believe the whole Little Nightmares world is a time loop. So I thought that before Six managed to consume the lady, there were five kids who were capable of the same thing and tried to do like she did but fail. I believe these kids were the five previous children. Not only that, but the flashlight girl is one of these five children. Let's look at this picture. She is the first one standing. With this picture side by side, there's no doubt. I then think all five children were then sent to the nest since we see some of them that were turned into dolls and we also see their pictures. This is where I believe their journey ends, except the flashlight girls. Before going on to the second one, a big part of the fandom believed that she is the lady's daughter. Let's base the second theory off of that statement. The girl and her mother could have been in a pretty good relationship. Unfortunately, she was stolen from her mother during the night. Proof of this I have right here. There's a little easter egg in the second chapter of Little Nightmares that involves the janitor's TV. If you press the button multiple times, the channel switches. We come across this channel. An eerie looking figure entering a child's room with very obvious wrong intentions. No clue to who this individual is, but I do have an idea on why they're there, to take this child away. This is how I believe she could have ended up in the nest. Just a quick reminder that don't forget that all of this is just theory spilling. We're theorizing here and I'm open to any theories out there. This is what I believe happened. Of course, we don't have any proof that truly proves or contradicts this. For my part, I believe they died in the game Very Little Nightmares, except the Raincoat Girl. Like I said, I think they were all sent to the nest, including the Flashlight Girl, who is in reality the same character as the Raincoat Girl, the girl we play as in Very Little Nightmares. I mainly believe this since we see each of the children's pictures at least once somewhere in the nest. Not only that, but I noticed sadly, like I briefly mentioned, that two of the children in the picture have a doll that is eerily similar to them. I truly hope this doesn't really mean that they have been transformed into dolls, but it really seems like this is where this theory is going. For the moment, we've established that two of them are possibly dead and how. But what about the other two? 
Unfortunately, I couldn't find any proof of their deaths. It really seems like the little boy and the little girl just simply vanished. This could also mean that maybe they aren't dead. But we'll leave this topic for a future video. Let's now focus on the Reiko girl, aka the flash eye girl, aka the lady's daughter. In the first Little Nightmares, there are pictures of a girl that is very similar to Six. When playing it for the first time and not really knowing the story behind the game, we all assume these were pictures of Six. But instead, I'm pretty sure they are pictures of the Raincoat Girl. We know we aren't playing as Six, since the main character is always referred to as the girl in their yellow raincoat and not Six. Since we know we are not playing as Six, this girl has to be the one in the picture since she's the only other known character with the signature yellow raincoat. We know that this raincoat is later passed on to Six after the girl fell to her, in quotation mark, death while escaping the pretender. We then later see Six climb down the mountain onto a raft to her next adventure that takes place in Little Nightmares 2. One thing that is odd to me is how did the girl's raincoat end up so far away on its own? It's possible it drifted this far to the mainland, but how did it end up literally in the middle of the city? Maybe it was someone or just the wind. Anyway, the fact that Six is wearing the yellow raincoat, a coat with a very bright and noticeable color, could be the reason why the lady is so hostile towards Six. We could argue she is aggressive with all the children who manage to get to her residence, but the fact that Six is wearing her potentially dead daughter's raincoat could be a trigger. The last thing we should discuss is why I don't believe she died at the end of Very Little Nightmares. To me, it seems too easy for a girl who escaped hideous monsters and defied odds where most of us would have probably have died easily to die in such a simple way. I have to say that everything points to her being dead sadly and that me believing she is alive is mainly just out of pure stubbornness. But also, the fact that we somehow see her in the first Little Nightmares games DLC, she must have survived and found a way back to the moss somehow. Although, I have thought of something else. Maybe the girl we see in the Runaway Kids chapter is just the ghost of the flashlight girl, helping the runaway kid find his way through the prison. Well, we've reached the end of this video, guys. Hope you liked this one. What do you believe about the links between the five children, the raincoat girl, and the flashlight girl? Once again, this is purely based on what I believe and what I researched. You always have room to decide what you believe is true and what isn't. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment on some of your theories. Take care and I will see you guys soon for more theory spells.